Edward Bernstein is a very important uh, Marxist thinker. He was a Marxist and later he changed to uh, what is called democratic socialism. Democratic socialism. And uh, he was um, one of the earliest who gave or who found out uh, what is wrong with Marxism empirically and what is wrong <clears throat> theoretically. And then, if it is empirically wrong and theoretically wrong, what are the implications? Implications. Okay. And uh, another thing is that he was very close to angels. So, he was the one who closely associated with how certain things were derived. Okay. And uh, he clearly understood that communism developing around that time uh, was a wrong turn to Marxism. He was born in Berlin in a Jewish family and he joined Social Democratic Party in 1872. Um, uh, Anti-socialist laws of Bismarck drove him to exile in Switzerland and then to London later. And there he became intimate with angels. And uh, he was impressed by political economy of Britain. And he came in touch with uh, Fabians who influenced him. And uh, He believed that uh, what the communists were planning around that time was wrong. He was instrumental in delivering German social democracy away from Bolshevik fantasies. And he condemned the attempted seizure of power by the communists in Germany. He died six weeks before Hitler came to power. And he, Bernstein used to, he made powerful speeches against Hitler, but he never thought that uh, Nazism would become so powerful as it turned out to be. Uh, significance of Bernstein's work is that, see, Marx and Engels wrote Communist Manifesto in 1848. Marx died in 1883 and Angels in 1895. Okay. Um, but by that time, by the end of uh, 19th century, capitalism was changing. It was changing even during Marx's time and more later. But Marx and Engels did not update manifesto. They didn't really change their thinking. Uh, 
uh, Weinstein, who was close to Engels, took some more time and worked on what was written in Communist Manifesto. And uh, um, and gave a uh, he thought he was a kind of doing revision. Okay, he he he, he it was called revisionism within Marxism. Revisionism was a current of thought, but later revisionism became an abusive word uh, when abusive word in the context of Bolsheviks calling their enemies as revisionists. But Bernstein called himself a revisionist. Revisionism was a school within Marxism which was respectable at that time. Okay. What were the things that uh, Bernstein uh, found? <clears throat> Let us look at uh, empirically. <clears throat> Marx predicted as capitalism advances, there will be few capitalists and a huge number of proletariat. This polarization was what was expected by Marx. But Bernstein found at the end of the 19th century, he wrote his book in 1899, was that this polarization is not true. In fact, there are more number of capitalists. That's one. And there are multiple classes. More capitalists, more classes. Not the way Marx thought capitalism would work. And next, Marx thought proletariat would be progressively miserable. But Bernstein found this is not true. Wages were up. So, Bernstein found that uh, in capitalism, everybody is better off. And this kind of polarization, which was expected to be the ground for proletarian revolution, was not happening. Which means, Thus, capital was uh, found to be empirically wrong. And what are the implications? It means Marxism is not science. Marxism is not science. So, proletarian revolution is not innovatable. Lenin and others were bringing the thinking of innovatability of a revolution, but it, they were only um, fast forwarding what would one day be innovatable. But Bernstein empirically found was no, it was not science, it was not innovatable. And what Marx was proposing was only an ethical principle, an ethical idea, an idea that this is how people should live. There was nothing science about it, there was nothing innovatable about it. And capitalism won't be working the way that Marx predicted. And uh, these are very sweeping uh, discoveries. 
And then, based on what he observed, he looked at now the theory. A central theory to Marxian economics is uh, what is the value of a product? Marx felt that this value is coming from human labor. Remember, these theories were being worked out before knowing that there is something like price and price is a result of demand and supply forces, which Alfred Marshall found out much later. But before Marshall, economists were trying to work out what is this, what, why some people pay more for this and pay less for other things. So there were very many theories and Marx gave value is coming from human labor and uh, the difference between price and wage is a surplus. And this surplus, Marx called exploitation. So if the wage is uh, 15 rupees and uh, the price is uh, 40 rupees, the 25 is the surplus and surplus is exploitation. In Marx's unusual thinking, uh, he, Marx is only considering human labor and any surplus is exploitation. But Bernstein uh, questioned this also because he found um, in the industries where the profits are more, wages are more. Profits are more, wages are more. In fact, Marx thought that when uh, capitalists compete for higher profits, they would go for lower wages. But Bernstein found there are higher profits. Higher profits are not because of lower wages or higher profits are not causing lower wages, wages also are high. So if the wages are high for the same labor and profits are high, he questioned what is this value then? Then he understood that what constitutes value is not only labor, but are not only the labor of hands, proletarian labor, which Marx thought, also mind labor of many other things, be it managers, be it bankers, which means that so many people are contributing to value addition so the idea that the only laborers are contributing to the value, everybody else is an exploiter, Bernstein thought it was wrong. Banker is contributing, engineer is contributing, capitalist is contributing, so many people are contributing. So if, uh, if, a, if a good is selling at a higher price, all these people have contributed to that price, which means all these people deserve a share in the profit, in the, in the increased price. And Bernstein found that there are more such people, there are more capitalists and more classes and more uh, um, contribution from diverse sources. So if uh, not only the workers if, and others also are contributing, then what does it mean? It is a very serious uh, criticism of Marx in economics. So he detected 
central some serious flaws and then um, he then which means that uh, capitalism was not becoming worse rather becoming uh, better becoming better and even more seriously benstein thought that uh, when all the people are doing things and finally getting benefited out of improving a product why should we think of conflict between classes the same thing can be thought in terms of cooperation and rather than conflict so looking at everything in terms of conflict also is wrong because so many people are cooperating in a way by which everybody is profited so this is one more serious criticism so capitalism is capitalism is improving people are cooperating everybody is better off and uh, there is a negotiation between the workers and the capitalists workers are demanding certain things capitalists are listening and improving their working conditions uh, so it means say cooperation dialogue is possible and uh, you cannot say capitalists would exploit more and more and they would and here he thought because marx thought capitalists would use um, state in their exploitation uh, benstein said that uh, if capitalism is changing and if cooperation is possible which means that the state nature also can change state also can change so which means gradually cooperatively all stakeholders can change the nature of the state okay and also Uh, when the capitalism is not becoming like this when there are more capitalists and more classes um evolving systems of collective ownership also becomes difficult so collective ownership going for a collective ownership um it, it would not be possible when the ownership is not in few hands when ownership is spread so bernstein for example around that time there were 1 million uh, enterprises were there small big included so he thought how would you public make them national nationalize them so uh, so bernstein proposed socialism over a period of time okay so what he proposed was democratic socialism which means go for democracy and use the democracy to evolve patterns of ownership towards a more just society okay so uh, and then here democracy meant let us see how he thought of earlier um, marxist ideas for example uh, workers councils more powers to the workers councils is democracy okay so parliamentarianism using parliament local self government workers councils this is all part of democracy so bernstein was thinking in terms of 
uh, economic empowerment of the people economic empowerment of various groups using democracy through dialogue and cooperation so there was no provision to dispossess people of the property okay so it was simply it means benstein was thinking in terms of giving property to empower it is not taking away property to create a particular ideal it is it is giving more property to the underprivileged for better redistribution and dialogue and cooperation okay but bernstein knows that as long as there are classes um uh, the there would be inequality or uh, classes and like inequality and democracy is not perfect and the state would be subjected to class differences so um benstein thought in the end democracy is nothing but um government which is which is not pandering to any classes okay so um democracy is creating democracy is absence of class government absence of class government okay so democracy is being used to change the nature of the government and in the end when there is no more class government and the government is for all then he will say that is democracy it means there is a proposal to use democracy to change the nature of the state and the state to change the nature of economy and democracy so so this is what bernstein proposed so how do we evaluate him i think he is far ahead of his times and he understood the limitations of marxism and had lenin followed bernstein's suggestions the history of the world would have been so different okay so bernstein was right in understanding where marxism was wrong but bernstein was he right in thinking that uh, democratic socialism would end would one day lead to uh, government which is which is not class biased or the society or there would be society without classes no okay so we know that democracy improved people's lives but extreme inequalities classes are there and the government is influenced by unevenly influenced by upper classes and only marginally influenced by lower classes so bernstein's democratic uh, socialism did not create any new society but it was good enough to identify what was the problem with marxism and if bernstein's advice was heeded a lot of unnecessary violence would not have taken place